Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and I had a request. That actually, I've been getting this request for some time now to do Doctor Doom against Galactus GBR to see how he does. So that's what we're going to find out today. How well can Doctor Doom do? Now, we did a video about Strife, and we saw that Strife could pretty much solo GBR. I mean, he is extremely powerful. But there is a couple little differences that makes it a little bit more difficult for Doom, and we're going to get into that. Now, this is the team that we want to run with. We're going to use Shuri for her tier 2 passive, this 45% increased damage out to supervillains, and we definitely want that 35% increase or decreased damage received from supervillains. That way we may go Doom a little tankier. We're going to use Victorious for her 35% increase of all attack and her 25% increase of energy attack, which is 60% increase of energy attack that she's going to offer Doom and she's going to decrease all damage received by 20% from Doom. So he's getting an extra 60% energy attack and a total of 65% decreased damage received, which is freaking amazing, guys. Now let's take a look at my Doom. Now my Doom has 42,400 energy attack and that's with that 60% all attack leadership. He has 126 attack speed, 53 crit rate, 188 critical damage, more or less max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. Take a look at his gears. All His first and third and fourth gear are at 25. He has all 5 star Urus and they're all amplified. I got a little love in old Doom. Sorry buddy, not right now. Now Doom, the reason he's a little bit more difficult guys than Strife is because of this right here. Well, yeah, because he needs to take damage to deal more damage. Strife doesn't have a damage accumulation, so therefore he's just raw power. I don't have to take damage or anything like that. He just deals a crap ton of damage at all times. Plus, there's an all defense down on here on Doom, which also makes him amazing in World Boss. But against Galactus, he's not going to have this. So he's losing the all defense down. That stacks up to 45%, which is a hell of a lot and lasts for 10 seconds. He still has the damage accumulation, but you have to play a certain way where you make sure you're taking damage. Now, luckily, this skill has a 5 second invincibility, and you're going to see in the gameplay how we deal with that. Now, his ISO 8 set is a fully awakened Power of Angry Hulk set, and he has a CTP of energy with a 200% damage rock. I tried this guy with a Rage a long time ago, and guys, it wasn't worth a crap. I could definitely do just as much damage with that CTP of energy, if not more. So, yeah, it didn't really help. It didn't help me when I was playing, but I use a different rotation than other guys when I'm playing him, and I found that I get more damage with the rotation I use. Now, I'm going to be changing the rotation for GBR because that all defense down is not applying. The way I normally do it is I'd be hitting the... Well, let's just skill preview it here. Let's skill preview this sucker. The way I normally do it, guys, is... I would start off with that three, just like there. I'd hit that three, kind of run around a little bit. And then when there's two seconds left on the damage proc, I would go ahead, whoops, I'd go ahead and hit the five, hit the two by accident there, but I'd go ahead and hit the five. And as soon as that missile lands, boom, I'd hit the three, just like that. And the damage, you get all that residual damage from that burn that's lying on the ground from the five and all the damage from the fifth at the same time hitting the all defense down on the three. And especially if he starts taking hits, when you hit that three, oh my god, the damage is insane. And then I finish out that three, and then I'll hit the four when there's about one second left on the damage proc, and then I'll go back into the three. I'll hit the four, his arm raise up, boom, and then I'll hit the three. And I usually go back and forth and just keep the damage proc on the three. But against GBR, you don't really want to do that because that all defense down isn't applying. It's not very optimal. So what you want to do is you want to hit the three. You want to take damage. You want to make sure you're getting hit by Galactus. And then when you have one second left on the proc, you want to hit the four. Arm's going to come up just like there, and then you're going to hit your five. And you want that damage proc to land on the fifth skill. The, the, the proc's going on right at this moment. The missile's going to come down. Do not go into another skill. Let your damage proc finish out while that skill is engaged. Once the proc is finished... Then you can either go into the two, three, or just go into the three. I typically just go into the three because the two isn't going to do that much damage. So let's get out of here.
And he has no uni, obviously. So guys, let's just get into the run and let's rock and roll. Okay guys, so here we are. Now let's see what teams we got going on here. We got Tier 3 Cyclops, Tier 3 Deadpool, Strife, and then we have Doc Tier 3 Doctor Strange and Cable and then Shuri for support. Now my buddy War Minded, he's joining me, so shout out to you buddy for joining me and helping me out and get this done. Uh, the other guys from the public uh, lobby. And yeah guys, we're going to get it done. We're going to start off with that 3 as soon as this gets started. And then we're going to try to get ourselves in the line of fire. We want to get hit by Galactus as much as possible. So here we go. Come on buddy, you are going down. So let's race that so we can see more of the screen. And let's switch to Doom, hit our three, and there we go. And if you guys notice, I waited to hit that three. And there we just got smacked real good. Well, there's two seconds left on the proc. We hit, or one second left on the proc. We hit the four, then we hit the five. And the proc came way late. Now I'm going to let that thing just run its course. I'm going to let it run its course. And boom, I want to, right there, guys, I was right in the line of the fist. You are trying to get hit as much as possible. And the beautiful thing about Doom, at least, is he has an amazing heal on his fist skill. So don't worry about taking any damage. I mean, you'll be fine. You'll heal right up. Plus, he has a dang rebound. Now look at this. We're going to get right in the middle of that hit. And you guys can see a huge spike in his damage every time we take a hit. Oh, we're just barreling through this. Now I'm not sure how much damage Cyclops is doing and Strange. Uh, it's going to be real interesting since Doom is actually just a tier 2. But we do have a nice good leadership and we do have a support helping us out. And my Doom is built pretty good. I wish he had a little bit more critical damage and crit rate but it's all good. He's built up as good as I can get him for the most part. And I just, and similar to Strife, I just love that he's got that channeling skill on the three and that he can just move around. You can hit the three and when Galactus gets ready to do something, you can get out of there, get away from him. Now here, we're just going to go ahead and hit our four and then hit that five. All right, now the proc's going to hit. We're just going to go ahead and hit the three and there's the damage proc. It should hit. There it is. Now we want to get hit. Come on. Smack us one. There we go. Did you guys see that little bit of spike there? Now we're going to hit our 4 and go back into the 5. And look at that damage, guys. Look at that. We're going to let it play out. And we just got smacked. And that's exactly what we want. This is what's so cool about Doom. You want to freaking get the crap knocked out of you. It's awesome. But it also makes him a little bit difficult to play. But against Galactus, it's not so bad. Because you, can pretty, you pretty much know when Galactus is going to throw down. You pretty much know when he's going to you know, lay his hands down on top of you. To where you can take some damage. Let's see what my guys do here. Okay, we're kind of all scattered balled all over the place right now. It's a little crazy. I think we got it figured out. There we go. Oh, sweet. I got the enchantment. Let's get him. And I always start with the three because that proc will usually trigger. You could start with the five if you want. But I, it's just a habit of mine. Really, you want to start with that three when you know that you're going to get hit. Now, this is another beautiful thing. That fist skill, you can move around. So because we saw all this blue crap that's going to come down, and we definitely don't want to get hit in that, uh, we were able to move over in the corner and get away. This It's just amazing, guys. Doom is so easy to play. Actually, this rotation is a whole lot easier than the rotation I normally do. Now, we're going to get right in there. Yeah! That's exactly what we want. We want to get smacked. Hell yes. And remember, you know, that accumulation lasts for 10 seconds. So you take a hit, chances are the next time you hit your proc, that that damage accumulation will be applying with your proc. And that is amazing. Let's get smacked. Yeah! Come on, buddy. Uh, proc came a little bit late. Now let's get over in safe haven here. And this is what I'm talking about. I love that that fifth and that third skill can move around like that and we can get into safe haven, get right in that dome. That's freaking amazing. Now, Doom isn't a character that I would tell you guys to actually go for as far as doing GBR because he just, he isn't like Strife. You know, like I said earlier, Strife just does, he just deals a ton of damage. He doesn't rely on any all, all defense down. He doesn't rely on any damage accumulation. And because of that, he's actually better here 
than Doom. And in all honesty, I think he's a little bit easier to play than Doom too. But that's just a personal preference thing. You know, for you, maybe Doom will be easier. But actually, as far as the character goes, I actually love Doom a whole lot more. And that's why I got a little bit more love in him than I do Strife. I mean, I love Strife too, but I like Doom a whole lot more as far as uh, villains in the MCU. We'll run around here a little bit. And we're going to start with that three, try to get smacked. Now, and whenever you're facing Galactus, make sure you do what I just did there. You want to move to the back a little bit, because if you're up near Galactus when he throws his hands down, he won't hit you. So you want to get where his fists are landing. Uh, man, I still enjoy watching those Cyclops do that, though. Boom! Now, we got to be careful here. And another beautiful thing about him is he has the revive, which is great. Now, our proc already triggers. So we're just going to go ahead and hit that 4 and then go into the 5. And you can see the difference in the damage, guys. Like, whenever he gets hit, watch how much damage he does on that 5 after he gets hit. It is a massive difference. So we're going to get smack right there. And hopefully Galactus won't go into any phases and we can deal some damage here. Oh, that bastard moved around. He got a little scared. He got scared. He don't want none of this. And just imagine if Doom ever gets that God Emperor Doom uniform. How amazing would that be? We would all be going ballistic if he got that thing. That would be so awesome. <laughs> but you can almost bet money that it's going to be underpowered compared to what it should be. Because we all know how powerful God Emperor Doom is. He is ridiculous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a little close there. Took a little damage. No biggie though. No biggie. We got to heal. Oh yeah, get him. Okay, doing some damage here. Now, this is where you gotta be real careful because Galactus will start shooting his freaking blue beam out of his eyes. And it's really difficult to see what's going on. <laughs> There's so much going on in this screen. It's, it's crazy. Now we want to get smacked. There we go. Yeah! I love it, man. I love it when you don't have to play safe and you just, you're wanting to take damage. I love it when you have a character that has such great survivability, such versatility in the way that you can play him because of moving that fifth and that third. It really just makes this guy amazing. Plus, he has super armor, so you don't even get guard broken, which is awesome. Boom! Yeah! Now we got that damage cumulus. Now watch how much damage we do, guys. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Look at that bar just going down. That is sweet. And you could throw on that two before you hit that three. It's just, I don't know, it's just a habit of mine. I never do it. It's not really going to make that much difference, guys. And if you guys notice, when he hits the four, the screen kind of closes in, and then it zooms it zooms in, and then it zooms out. And when it zooms out, his hand comes up, and then that's when you should be hitting that five. And booyah! Let's see how much damage he did. 45%, guys. So even with this OP, you know, a really strong team... If you have two really strong dooms, he can definitely do it. But he's not a character I would use to, say, carry a team. So, guys, let me know what you think about Doom. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.